In this video, I'll break down how to add these really cool paper rip transitions to your videos in Final Cut Pro 10 using Cinepak's free paper rip transition pack. The link is going to be down in the description below, and I'll go ahead and show you how to create these really cool transitions. It takes one or two minutes, really quick, really easy, and best of all, it's completely free. Once you download the pack from Cinepak's, all you're going to do is you're just going to import these like you would any normal overlay. So just click on Command I and then locate where you have the folder. In this case, I have have it on my Samsung T7 and as you can see paper rip transitions and then just select the one you want we want paper rip 05 and just click import selected don't put this in any kind of like any like motions template folder or preset folder this is just an overlay you're just going to import it like you would any normal overlay now what you want to do is you want to place the paper rip on top of your clip you want to make sure it ends exactly where the first clip ends now you can actually speed up this transition if you want to make it go a lot faster just click on it click on command R and you can speed it uh, speed it up so we do something like 135 so if you want to speed it it's going a little too slow or of course you can also make it go a lot slower but in this case we're going to speed up to about 135 percent because I just feel like I want it to go a little bit faster just going to place it and make sure the end lines up with the end of the first clip and let's go ahead and play and then as you can see this is what the the transition looks like without any of the effects applied so it definitely looks a little bit complicated but this is what it looks like and I will show you how to use this or how to make this into a really cool transition what you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel and you want to locate your keyer so go to the search bar and just type in keyer and you want to make sure it targets the green so place it onto the clip and you want to make sure the green is keyed out not the blue and if it doesn't work what you would do is you want to go to a different point in the clip and then reapply the keyer you want to make sure the green is keyed out and not the blue or or else it's not going to work so what you want to do next is head to the search panel and I'm going to add a hue and saturation so apply hue and saturation because what we want to do is we, we, we want to change the blue to a green so we can key it out again so head over to hue and then type in 244 we want to change that blue to green so what you want to do is you want to select the paper transition and then you want to just select the actual clip now I'm going to go ahead and just place a marker just so we know where the paper transition actually starts so we can line up with the second clip so let's go ahead select the paper and the video itself create a compound clip and we'll just call this paper rip this is a really important step now we're going to create a compound clip now we're going to go ahead and add the key or effect again so you can see there is the green so we won't actually be able to see the video below it so what you want to do is head over to here and then add another key or effect onto the compound clip and then as you can see there we go the green has been completely keyed out now if you did this to your clip and you realize that the green was keyed out that is actually supposed to happen now unfortunately you really can't use a clip with green in it because if you add the keyer effect it's going to key out the green the keyer automatically selects the, the color green to key out unfortunately there's no really way to have it target a different color it's going to target green i don't know if this is going to show up in the screen recording but if i take off the keyer effect you can see there is a little bit of green and as you can see once i apply the keyer effect it turned you know, blue i don't know if you could see that in the screen recording but it's going to key out the green in your clip so if you have green in your clip i would not use that clip for this transition now what you say what if i have green in the clip i still want to use this transition what i would do is i would color grade the clip so there is no green so i'm going to make the green a different color by just color grading it unfortunately if you have green in your clip it's not going to work because the keyer automatically targets green so try your best to use clips that doesn't have green in it and if it does have green in it maybe color grid the clip so the clip is no longer so there's no longer green in the clip now what you're going to do is you're going to take the second clip and you're just going to place it underneath the first clip and then as you can see now you can see the video below it so you see if i play the clip now you can actually see the clip so you're just going to take the clip the second clip and then place it below and make sure it's lined up you want to make sure it's you know lined up where the paper rip happens so for example if i offset a little bit and i play the clip as you can see it's black so you want to make sure it's completely lined Lined up with a paper rip. That's why you, you saw I created that marker. So I made sure it was all lined up. Now, if I play the video, as you can see, there we go. There is a really cool, really clean paper rip transition. Now, just use the same, you know, steps and same tactics that I showed you to create this one to create, you know, to be able to create them using a different paper rip. I used the paper rip 08, but the same steps apply for, you know, any one of them. So there we go. That's how you create a really cool paper rip transition. And don't worry, like I said before, it's completely free. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also be sure to check out my final cut pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from lastly make sure to check out my website where i sell final cut pro 10 plugins anyways i will see you in the next one peace